Let's see if Twitch helps us here. And there's a big red thing that yes. says live. So. Yes, we are. We are live now. We made it. We made it, everyone. <laughs> nice, nice, incredible, fantastic, groundbreaking, all of that. Um, so welcome, everyone, um, to these... Uh, you know, eventful day, which Tears of the Kingdom just came out, but we are, you know, we are fearless, so we're going to stream anyways. Um, welcome back to Hi David, um, to our Total War series. I am streaming from the center of the sun, which in this case is Boston at 30 degrees Celsius. It's way too hot for me to be coherent in any way. Um, and welcome to our guests, returning guests, all of them. Um, Eduardo, who will be uh, showing us, you know, his, his prowess in Rome to Total War. And welcome back to Dr. Daniele Salvoldi, um, coming to us from, I believe, Italy right now. You're always around, man. No, no, I'm in Cairo. I'm back to Cairo. Oh, you're in Cairo. Okay, you're back in Cairo. Okay, that's good. So 37 degrees today. 37 degrees. That's great. This is, a, this is now the, the weather service. Um, if you want to know how hot it is in Rome to War, this is, this is how we go. This is how we go with it. Um, and uh, today we will continue with uh, the ancient Total War series, um, and we will be playing the next chapter, which is Rome 2, um, which I admit I've never played. Um, I own it somehow. I obtained it. Um, I never played it. Um, and I, so I'm completely like, I don't know what I'm getting into. Um, so, uh, have you both played this game? Have you both, um, had to deal with it? I remember seeing the trailer, the cinematic trailers, and then be like, too much drama. I'm not, I'm not going to play this. I wasn't, it wasn't the moment for that for me. <laughs> I wasn't in the mood for too much, for that much drama at the time. <laughs> no, I played it even though I... I think if I well, that back in the days it wasn't on Steam, but uh, uh, Rome to uh, Total War One, I definitely spent more hours on the first one. It was so mm -hmm. amazing when it came out. It was like, ah, oh, so come this one, yeah, it it's good. Uh, <laughs> it's it, good. it works. It's good. Yeah? I mean, it's interesting. It's so varied. It's so rich of things, and uh, and I like the flags and the symbols of the factions. Um, and it's much bigger. Okay. Yes, yeah. that is that is true. Obviously, um, yeah. they actually got back for it. Yeah, they actually got back for So, um, which factions do we have? I see Carthage because I see the the symbol of Tanit. Uh, she's she's yeah. unmistakable. I see a Roman eagle as as one yes. does. Yeah, oh, oh wow! You see, there are cultures, and then there are factions within each culture. Yeah. Oh, so oh, so like oh, that's play... where they got that from Attila. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's like so when the Romans choose, so in the like first what... game, you had uh, the Bruti, the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the Julii. And Corneli. Yeah, yeah, you have uh, either families or uh, sub-factions, sort of. Ooh, ooh. and di divided into cultures, which is a big charged word. <laughs> yes, and yeah. also yeah. note that they give them different traits for... So, for example, the Julia, the House of Julia, Romanization, cultural conversion, and they also, Ooh. of course, hate the barbarians. So oh yeah, oh yeah. So you hate, so you hate the Gauls, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and that happened in the first one also because of the positioning that yeah. you would naturally be the enemy of the Gaul because they'd start you up in, in northern mm -hmm. Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and then what else? I mean, we got the Cartaginians. I see the Cartaginians. Yeah. And then, oh, you can choose the dynasties in Carthage. Oh, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And then they get different bonuses at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. the, naturally, the bar, the bar kids, loyal troops and pioneers, so they get movement range for their armies. Mm -hmm. And then... And, the, oh, the succession kingdom. So we, we finally have Egypt. Finally. Egypt is just Egypt. Yeah, Egypt is just... It's, it's nothing else. It's just Egypt. Yeah. And but they get Ptolemaic enlightenment, so they get twenty percent for their research rate. So they're really good at being nerds. Okay, so we get do we get a lighthouse? Do we get a museum? Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Right? Yeah. We get we get all of that. Oh, that's that's really cool. And um, Bactria. Bactria. This yeah, is, this, buddy. Is, this is our first. I've never seen Bactria in games before. They, they weren't even on the map oh, really? <laughs> in the first one. And they were. No, they were you they were have the all the map. Uh, you have all the map stretching. To, to the industry, mm -hmm. you've got all sort of tiny, tiny poster 
party and whatever post uh, no, post uh, not party no. Macedonian wars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Second yeah. Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. And, I see some Greeks. The, the Greeks are not monolithic anymore. They have Great. their own. We got yeah. several Greeks. Like we got Massalia, which is incredible yeah. to me. Uh, we got Sparta, mm. of course, with yeah. the yellow of like a diamond because because necessary. We got Athens. Who's who's the third one? Who the f Epirus? Epirus. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh my god. That yeah, makes yeah, that yeah. makes sense. And then nomadic tribes of Ferrosolani. Mm. <laughs> And Rose Scythians. Okay, so we got the Scythians too. Incredible. Yeah. I love that. Oh, and then we got the Parthians. I see. I see the, the Armenians. Eastern, Eastern and Boston. The Easterners, Eastern right? Eastern Empire. Oh my God. Oh Note that they have God. secret police, as one of their Eastern <laughs> cultures have secret because police. Because clearly only because Eastern empires have secret despotic, police. Right? Yes, because despotic things are only in the yeah, East. The it, it never... They also had it in the first game. Huh? They had uh, the barracks of the yeah. secret police or something. Yeah, 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 because mm -hmm. that never happened in the West. Hello, Bubair. Thank you for joining us. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the Gallic tribes just never <laughs> The Gallic tribes are just just the awareness. That's it. That's it. That's that's all the goals we had. Sorry, guys. The Iceni. Mm. Oh, so we got Budica. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or Budica's, you know, Budica's peeps. Um Swaby the for Swaby. The Okay, okay. And the Geta. Okay, not mm -hmm. bad, not bad. I was hoping in the Batawi, but you know, uh, but Alex is not here with us, so we so we can't talk shit about his ancestors. Ah, so that's okay. <laughs> I don't know how to chat. How do you chat people? Can you can we chat with the uh, um you can use it on twitch, I keep private, chat on right? twitch. Chat. yeah on no twitch. no you can do it on twitch i can i have the power to chat from here but you can only do it on twitch um ah, okay. but well, i think I we are going to yeah then you well, which faction you, to... which faction you, which faction oh, you? Well, the Ptolemies. since you are here daniela yeah. we chose the ptolemies ah, ah, no, no. so we did the ptolemies ah, no. my, yeah, my, yeah. My, it's very we play in a very weird way because we did uh uh Last time we did the circuit, mm -hmm. and, and, yep. and now we're mm. going, why don't we do the Romans? I mean, we could do oh, the yeah, Romans do. if we want. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fair. That's fair. I mean, we, yeah, you know, we were trying, we're trying to me. please to please everyone here. <laughs> no, we can no, play no, with the Romans. Okay, we, which uh, which uh, Roman uh, faction? Uh, whom whom are we the, hating? Last time we played, uh, we played. Uh, remember, we played. Um, what's the name? Um, uh, the Mycenaeans things. You know, the uh, Trojan Troito. Yeah, we played. We made yeah, we siege, played. The siege of Mycenae instead of doing the siege of of, of Troy. Of, yeah, we we're, we're <laughs> we do playing, everything you know, opposite. Uh, the game is about. Uh, of course we are. Of course we do. Oh, this of is about the Romans. Let's do the Romans. Yeah. Okay. So we don't be the Julii, the Cornelii, or if, who's if, who's there? Is the Roman? It must be the Julian. Uh, yes, we get we, we get it. some great bonuses to Romanization. To Romanize, right? Uh, we are going uh, to bring them civilization, aqueducts. <laughs> and um roads a uh, postal system um let me think what else are we bringing that well the patriarchy probably already was there so we're not bringing them the patriarchy but we are reinstating you know a, a stronger there is, patriarchy there is a what wait there is uh no there is one uh, dlc and it's uh rome in the uh second triumvirate so you get uh octavian you get Mark Antony and oh the my god! Guy. Oh, we can do that one. I think I have it. <gasps> we can do that one actually. Um, yeah. Oh my god! That's Cleopatra. So... Cleopatra is a hot yeah, button issue right is now. The... <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, so we have to do the Romans. We have to do the civil wars. That's true. That's true. Oh we my can god. do Cleopatra. Oh, we could play with Cleopatra. It's that's a hot issue. Oh, or, we could go against could, against Cleopatra. Anthony, we can do Mark Anthony. Wow. Wow, and we can talk. We can talk shit about. Uh, I mean, not necessarily talk shit about Mark Anthony. I mean, we can have <laughs> opinions about that. Yeah, yeah, uh, you can you can bring up that Parthian triumph. Uh, that what, we we don't talk about the Parthians for? here. We don't talk hmm. about the Parthians here. But we could also play as the Romans and just and see like and see how we um what kind of battles we have to fight and what kind of Did issues. We do you could do my boy Lepidus, the oh the uh, the underappreciated the the anchor of the. Second he didn't even go there. <laughs> you leave that man alone. <laughs> he didn't even go there. No, okay. If like third triumvirate, like the second third triumvirate, it's us right now. Um, <laughs> so you know, take. <laughs> there, so, I mean, there's also Pompey. Sextus Pompey. 
Oh, yes. so we're playing as pirates? Insert chaos into the mix. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so it's just, the, just karma, for, you know, it's the for... karma of the Pompeii that the father was the defeater of the pirates and the son is a And pirate. then the son became a pirate, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, it's a rebellious phase, right? Who amongst us hasn't been a goth, you know, a punk, a pirate at a certain point? You know, it's it happens. It happens to the best of us. Um, I think the police is coming back. Sorry, it's it happens. <laughs> the soul is the police it's going the, around my house. Police. It's the secret police. It's the secret police. The Oriental secret police. <laughs> you know, New England is is uh is clearly an Oriental faction. <laughs> um, so yeah, should we play with Rome? Should we play with Egypt? Yeah, I um, say. Yes, the I am the Carmen San Diego. San Diego. Streaming. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is me. Where in the world is? Next time, next time with the with the red hat. Um, well, I mean, since Daniela is like the the guestest of guests here, you can choose the faction with whom we can play today. Uh, now I messed it up. If we have to be Rome, let's do uh, Octavians. No. Okay. Okay. Let's we be. Start with Rome. Let's be like. Rome. That's fair. Also, look at the Parthian which, king which with the Agrippa, really, not Octavian. <laughs> with the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. Agrippa was the best admiral of his time. He was a great man. Um, he was a great man. He was a great man. Questions. Qu the question is, where the fuck did that terrible, terrible son of his came out? Because was, wait, Agrippa Postumus. Since Eduardo is a is a great meme creator, there is this. Uh, there was this amazing. <laughs> there was this amazing tweet. Uh, a few a few months back, it was. Do you would you vote or would you prefer one giant? Giant Agrippa or 100 tiny Mark <laughs> Okay, okay. Which one? Which one would you fight? It's it's an important question. On land or sea? Good. Uh, no, yeah, are they, uh, I, I think I, I think I do. The hundred Mark Anthony is just like the chaos that that could ensue. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's my boy. He was he was a a chaotic. Um, what was his star sign? This is now 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 this is now astrology astrology. Oh, look, look at look at Anthony right there. Oh my God! Where's Cleopatra and Anthony? Cleopatra is very pale. <laughs> She's very Cleopatra. pale. <laughs> and why doesn't he have a beard? Well, no, he he should not have a beard. But like, what is this, what is this with bowl cut? What they did him wrong? I think they I mean, he looks more like um, Agrippa in the Rome series because Agrippa he in the does. Rome series had a similar hair thing. Augustus just has an infinitely punchable face in any adaptation of him that I see. Uh, that is fair. Has the, the, uh, we, have a, we have a bust of him in the classics library over here. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure he stares at me the entire time. He's got, he's got the hair uh, with the same, uh, the same lock intersecting like a crab like in the statues. That was very <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Look at that coin. Yeah. Oh, oh, look man. at the coin. Can I Re really, spoof? really, really enjoy the added numismatic layer of Rome Total War II, where they start adding coins and everything to the main thing. Let's see. So you are Octavian. <clears throat> you can't hear the audio, but the, the announcer said, instead of Lepidus, Lepidus. Uh, no, yeah. we don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't agree with that pronunciation that's, um that's okay so mark anthony was a latin being pronounced in english no it was yeah have you seen yeah, that that's... tiktok video about the coronation oh have my god <laughs> oh my god yep 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 i saw that uh there was a it's very um, interesting pronunciation of regina yeah oh no oh yeah <laughs> yeah it sounded entirely like something else um uh, that's a problem actually when i was when i was watching the crown like i think it was the first the first season um there's like grandma um quick like like the the wife of of the late georgia fit is like oh you know elizabeth you know the the woman needs to needs to make way for elizabeth regina and i was like no 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 <laughs> There is no. a there is a there is a city. There's actually a big city in, in Canada called Regina. <clears throat> so yeah, it's that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so wait wait wait. So we have the dynasty, the Octavian yes. dynasty. This is the Octavian. No, uh -huh. good old oh, good old oh, Pappy. Well, Uncle Caesar, uh, legal Pappy. <laughs> yeah, great, great Uncle Caesar. 
Yeah. We have yeah. Yulia. Okay. We we have who the who does who that no, Claudia Pulcra. And and a Gaius, as one does. As one, there's it, always a Gaius. So this is one of the new things that they added in uh Total War to Rome to I don't know, the naming conventions keep changing every Total War Rome 2, I believe, is now the official one. Uh, but here's the government overview where you can basically influence the Senate. No, Octavian already has his own dynasty. He's already called an emperor. Right, which uh, is uh, not yeah. really the case. No, no, no. Um, actually, yeah, I don't think he's even... I don't think they even call it the spring caps or anything. They just straight up give you a dynasty. And you can kind of secure the loyalty of the patricians, the Libertini. I'm going to do that with the patricians. I mean, yeah. So yeah. for for the people who who may not be um, um really well well versed in this in this complex and chaotic um political situation of the of the second triumvirate, um who who wants to sum up what, what is happening, who are we dealing with, and what is going on, um and where where we are in time at at this point because we are talking oh yeah Lepidus haha that's a triumvirate and then people may be like who what when, um so um any takers. Yeah, Eduardo. Eduardo, I'm looking at you. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So yeah, there. Uh, so Rome during the Republic it gets these spurts of things called triumvirates. There are official triumvirates. They, they like in official capacity, they could designate these councils of three. Pero in the late Republic, you kind of get the first triumvirate, which is an unofficial political alliance between Pompey, Crassus, and Caesar famously goes to heck uh oh we can curse here it goes to shit uh yeah, can, once crassus kicks the bucket at cray uh and then there is the second triumvirate that forms in the immediate aftermath after the assassination of julius caesar and there is kind of a resulting political fallout where no everybody's jockeying for position it's very uh you need succession the latest episodes of succession where people are going who's going to give the funeral oration who's going to do this uh, someone whips out a will. Uh, we don't know what's on the will. Uh, sketchiness all abounds. Uh, but eventually, amidst the political fallout, you kind of get these three major players. Uh, Lepidus had his moment to shine uh, because he was, in effect, the second in command in the immediate aftermath of Julius Caesar's assassination as the Magister of Horse. Uh he doesn't really do anything with it. He kind of loses his shot. He has it. He doesn't take it. He he, and then eventually you have Anthony and Octavian being the ones that start jostling into position, and then you get a kind of tripartite division, where they go, okay, you're gonna govern this area. I'm gonna govern this area, and you're gonna govern, and the other guy's gonna govern this area, and this is kind of the resulting kaleidoscopic. Uh, you can tell from the map gore that's going on here. You have three different colors to denote Lepidus over here in good old Spain and Iberia. Augustus gets kind of the sweet deal. Although initially it's not the sweet deal because Italy has suffered a lot in these civil wars. Uh, soldiers are really angry. They want their land apportionments that they were promised. So Augustus actually, or Octavian at this point, he doesn't get Augustus till later, it, but Octavian really has the initial short end of the stick Pero, because he's actually, well, and he also has Agrippa along with him, uh, but he's a really good administrator. Uh, and He kind of comes to grips with what is going on in Italy and kind of reshuffles. And he initially starting off on the back foot, but he recovers really quickly. Um, Anthony then is over here. He gets Greece and he gets Roman possessions in Asia Minor in Syria, notably because Rome gets Syria after the Seleucids get dissolved. They get Northern Syria, which is kind of the Seleucid stronghold. They get that in Cilicia um, in the immediate aftermath of the Roman dissolution of the Seleucid polity in 63 BC, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, and Anthony is set to govern there, along with, of course, his famous interactions with Cleopatra who is there governing um, 
the Ptolemaic uh, kingdom in the immediate aftermath of their own civil <laughs> uh, distress that uh, one of one served. of their many civil <laughs> wars, like um, and Egypt at this point is indebted to Rome for like six hundred talents, something of the sort. Yeah, so Cleopatra's father had asked Pompey for some coin, um, and never given it back. Um, so and he leaves a a kingdom in in shambles. Um, a daughter, a few sons, well, two daughters actually, but one unfortunately falls to the vial of poison uh or down a flight of stairs it depends um several sons um and and a giant debt um so uh that is that is that is the situation in egypt at the point at that point um and actually the um the situation with the land in italy is messy and the person who also tells us how messy it is is not other than virgil um, when he starts his his bucolics with Titira tu patolera cubans um, this it, it is like a, a poem of like a collection of poems, and in uh, several of them, these these uh, shepherds lament the fact that they're going to have to leave their fields because they're being taken and redistributed to the veterans of the civil wars. Um, so we see these these malcontent and these uh, social issues seeping into actually art and like of people that were not necessarily politically you know partisans at the time but we see that like it was was a mess for everyone involved um and also we should talk about how good agrippa was um agrippa was marcus <laughs> bipsanius agrippa um he was octavian's mate uh he was octavian's right hand best you know best man best buddy um greatest admiral of his time um the future winner of the battle of actium um possibly naval consultant for Virgi Virgil in the N8. I heard, I read that. It was uh, an interesting yeah. theory. Uh, there are a few articles about that. Very interesting because like Virgil clearly was not a, like a, a, you know, a, uh, a sailor, but he may have had access to someone who was indeed a sailor. So probably, probably, you know, at least it was the like reading the things. The sailor. Yeah, no, Agrippa was good. Agrippa was excellent. Um, also, and, Bender, yeah. Bender, oh, there uh, is. Agrippa? Come again? Yes. Yeah, that's him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Builder, builder we of... See, we, uh, see, we don't see the name. We see the name Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That's, Eduardo is Agrippa at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, that's him. Yeah. Even also Octavian the, and um, with Agrippa. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, and also one of the people that Octavian desperately tried to set up as his heir for his succession and failed because Agrippa died before, you know, before Augustus. Um, which was which was also Augustus at the time was not Augustus yet it was Octavian right it was still um, the the heir of Caesar the young Caesar uh, although the fact that he had been adopted was questioned because Caesar's will was it the real one was it not this is all the hot gossip from the ancient times so it is a very politically charged situation and there's also the issue that at a certain point two of the main players meet in Tarsus, uh, Cleopatra and Mark Antony meet in Tarsus, and it's you know, and they it's just it's just they're they're struck by lightning. It's a it's a a love story for the ages between two very chaotic people um, with big egos and everything else. Um, he was he was styling himself as the new Heracles. He was big, manly man, you know, and all his soldiers loved him and everything else. She was an excellent queen and she was the the first one in a long line of pharaohs to speak egyptian and be able to read egyptian um and a shrewd politician she was kind of keeping the kingdom you know afloat after all the, the shit that her, her the drunken sod of her father had done um she disposed of at least one sister <laughs> you know i mean who amongst us hasn't um, but yeah, it was it was a mess, and it was also a mess because Antony was technically married um, to Octavian's sister Octavia. Um, so yeah, it's not a good situation for anyone involved. Oh, there's also pirates. There's also pirates. Um, <laughs> one of one of Pompey's sons. Um, <laughs> One of Pompey's sons has decided that his career, instead of being, you know, a lawyer or a doctor, no, he wants to be a pirate, and he becomes a pirate. Um, and he's a massive pain in the ass for everyone involved. Uh, he sets camp in Sicily, um, and he's 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 a messy, a messy, messy man. 
And all of these, if you want like um, a very uh, funny version of all of this and then tragic, you just watch, you know, any uh, stage stage production of uh, Anthony and Cleopatra by Shakespeare, because that's, that's the thing. If you find the globe one, um, watch that, because it's probably one of the best productions ever made. Um, we had a very dramatic reading of Anthony's dying scene. But the guy who was playing Anthony was the understudy of the understudy. So he had the script in his hands. So he was dying, then sitting up to read the script and then dying again because he had like one day to prepare. <laughs> Fantastic, incredible, <laughs> excellent production. That's the best story I will ever tell about, you know, about that, that play. Um, so, yeah, we are, we are in, in a mess for everyone involved. <sighs> and we are playing as Octavian. So we're going to have to, what do we, we have play, to do? We play now and we're not. We're not allied with any one of the other Romans, but we're not at war yet, mm. right? We're a defensive ally because, again, we're working with the, the political mechanisms of the game, right? Within the framework, a defensive ally with Anthony, although he really doesn't like us. Mm. Uh, <laughs> the irony is that it's they, they chalk it up to cultural aversion. I mean, Which, he's a Roman. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how they, Anthony's Rome, what, actually, where do you, where do they show the culture for it? Because I'm curious, they might have given him like an Eastern culture or so. That's weird. Yeah. Um, and then where's our good buddy? Oh, Lepidus doesn't like us either, but Lepidus was fine. No, we have to be friends. <laughs> Fuck off. Mm. I think our our main enemy is going to be Pompey, who, for some reason, we start off with neutral, but he also just hates us. I guess they give all the Romans cultural aversion against each other to kind of simulate the fact that you're about to pop mm. off a civil war, but... So, yeah, I was just uh, basically doing trade rights with a bunch of Gauls uh, that are clients uh, because uh, uh, I keep saying uh, Augustus, Octavian, Octavian. Uh, also gets Gaul and Gaul is not as politically unified yet. So there's a fair number of tribes that are kind of allied with the Romans. Uh, also historically so. So I just started making trade agreements with them to kind of get, you know, These more money. Agreements. Ooh. Okay, yeah, with Thrace. Oh, with Thrace, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah But they're a client state of Anthony. That's I mean, <laughs> we, sure. can get, we can get stuff from under his butt, uh, you yeah, know, under sure. his oriental yeah. butt. So, yeah. Put them into our... <laughs> exactly, call them in. It's like, yeah, come with us. We have uh, a tyrant. <laughs> and you also have a tyrant. I do like this style of um, representing the units. The unit cards are it very nice. Cool. Cool. The units, yes. The buildings, I find it uh, at the beginning, and it's like, oh, what is this? What, what is, is it? Because uh, the icon yeah. is not it's, very easy to recognize. It's I not mean, very intuitive. Is, is yeah. 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 I mean, it's very artistic. It's very nice. It's pretty, but, but then it's again, not, there is well, there is there, there is something exactly to be said. Right about about streamline streamlining something for simplicity's sake, especially in a game that is dense. Yeah. yeah. You can uh, yeah. yeah you can uh, increase improve their um, when there is this a, a tiny yellow chevron pattern on the unit. You can improve armor or something like the first one to the. Oh, it's based left. on yeah. It's based on the. Building, right? I think There's so. Yeah. I yeah. Think so. Yeah, some if it's like, if it's like, a region where they can upgrade uh, something if they move the pubs. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. You can upgrade the those. Um, you can also. Oh, I see that you have legion, legions with yes. their with their name. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay. How do you? How do you like? Can you? Can you? Like, do you need a specific building to raise a legion? No. You raise mm -hmm. a general. You raise a general. General and it automatically gets a name, but but you have the legion has a history. So as you play, the unit is ah. gaining uh, experience, and 
if this legion is destroyed in battle, it's lost, mm -hmm. you can reinstate the legacy of the legion. So next Whoa. general higher, you can tell him to be the general of the Legio, Legio Tertia Ferrata if that legion had been uh, disbanded before. Mm -hmm. Oh, you that's even, so cool. You can even select the emblem. As you see, it just did that. Mm -hmm. I saw each, that. Oh, my meeting. God. And once we get some battles, we can focus on the traditions because those actually have a substantial impact on like how your army behaves. Mm -hmm. it, they range from like, oh, you can march farther to like, oh, your skirmishers have better, uh, more ammunition and stuff like that. So it can actually be substantial. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. A um, similar thing for the fleet also. Oh, so yes. you got the classes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, this is, this is the agents can um, can have um, skills that they improve as they, uh, you select yeah. them when they do uh, yeah, uh, what is this agent pick, uh, here oh. we have a veteran yes okay so we can actually put him in the army and he should give experience yeah True. this is all, this is great this is complex yeah, yeah it it's, is. A, it's a substantial uh complexification a bit more things to do other than moving people around yeah i don't know just yeah yeah no that's fair that's yeah. fair um and you i feel they they maintain they maintain a lot of these things for um for attila like the the legion thing you can have it for the um oh that's no it. no <laughs> oh, my we gotta kill lepidus <sighs> Goodbye, okay. Lepidus. We said that uh, Volpi Volpi. was first our first enemy. In fact, <laughs> it's Lepidus. In he's fact, neutral. he's new. Yeah, Lepidus declared war before Pompey. Uh, somebody was writing in the chat, uh, "Lepidus, go home. You're boring." And it was you. Yeah, uh, you're boring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was me. <laughs> he, he he heard that. He right. heard he his heard that line and introduction decided, and then the comments. He decided to take off. Yeah. As... He decided I'm to get real boring. spicy about it. Uh, I'm not boring, and I'm gonna show you. Yes, by being slaughtered, we love that for oh, you. I have slums. Oh, yeah. This is I mean, when you clear an area to build something, and then you don't build actually something. Oh, yeah. so you should get the slums. The, the white clear, hammer. Clear the, the white hammer means you are preparing an area for construction. Mm. You're clearing an area, or you cleared actually an area, and then if you don't have something, it becomes slums, and then it has a negative effect. This is um. A very a very roman approach to it it's like yeah we gotta we gotta clear we gotta we gotta build right now we gotta do the things we're gonna need we need to be productive Rupa. <laughs> i'm too used to i'm too used to the the newer ones that if you trespass somewhere they will do let you know that hey you're trespassing yeah. don't do it but i don't care about trespassing oh, yeah oh look, syracuse oh my god can we look at syracuse can we look at cities <laughs> oh, like inside? No, I don't think oh. this one has the city view, right? That is sad. Your city, look at if, you to, to, if you want to well, try, try on one of yours. Yeah, maybe Rome. I don't, I don't think this one has the city. I think they took the city view out. If I recall, it is sad. That is sad. Because uh, I remember that was one of the big things that we were like, "Oh, I can't see the cities anymore." Yeah. You can see them on like a siege map. Okay, uh, that's fair. Some, some have like custom maps, like Carthage has a custom map and stuff like that. We can do a nice, uh, but not everybody. <laughs> Ooh, actually, I think I think map. yeah, I think I can just load up the siege map for Alexander, so I don't actually have to. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'll take ages to to get mm -hmm. there. To get there, but <laughs> it's cool. That is cool. Yeah, he was like at this point, point, had been yeah, some hundred years, fifty years. Um, and it was still it was still a, a big ass city with big ass walls. Um, Alexandria, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's Syracuse it's too. Um, okay. One second. I need to go rescue my food from outside. Sure. Soon. Listen, it's it's twenty nine <laughs> degrees. Okay. I gotta. If I leave stuff outside, by the time we're done, it's gonna be cooked. So <laughs> you should, have, you should have seen my face when you initially said thirty degrees and. <laughs> I just thought Fahrenheit. I, yeah, I'm on Fahrenheit. I've always been so. No, we are. We are. We do in this house. I do Celsius, and my wife does Fahrenheit. <laughs> right. A divided household. Yes. Um. I'll be back, but please, please okay. continue. You know, continue talking shit about Lepidus. That's what. There is uh, in this game. There's also this thing about uh, food. Huh? 
which is very, it's, we need to be very cautious mm -hmm. because if you look, look at the panel of the province, it tells you, for example, Aquitania, is it yours? It tells you minus one now. Where right. is because I'm looking at the dental the left, food uh, thing. On the left, uh, on the left. Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, you're yeah, right. You get the public order and you, you get the food. So if this goes mm. down, people starve and it's uh, it's a bad thing. So yeah, I think it's, it's some, contributing. Some of the things you build, some of the things of the uh, the things you build cost food in terms that it consumes a certain amount of food every turn. And so you need to always make sure that within the province there are food produced facilities all the time. It's always about yeah, balance, uh, what kind of buildings you, you do because it's uh, if you don't think about that, this is something that was not there in the previous games. So you just go build things and then you realize who's eating all the food. <laughs> it's all the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the it's same thing with the uh, and, and then they they it's I guess to balance it out, right? Because it's always a game of a mechanism working with another game mechanism. Food yeah. can also adversely affect a squalor. That's one of the ways that you okay, you can't build too many farms because everybody's gonna yeah. complain yeah. that it stinks. Uh yes. so they kind of do an artificial way of balancing it out. Yeah, see there you yeah, go. So yeah. even if I do if I turn this into a fishmonger, which will give me a lot of food at the expense of not having a uh, facility to build navy to to build bigger ships yeah. or to have a or trading cost. facility if i just want to do yeah exactly the main thing off of this one so right now i think we're good on food also winter affects food if i recall correctly like the seasons affect food so you'll have lower wow. yields in the winter time also i believe that's how that works I and don't, I don't remember. Please, i'm just going to start bolstering food Usually there's the encyclopedia or anything like that, but there's troubled. Oh no. Okay. See, here we have one. I think they're pissed at me because the culture right now, right? It's, yeah. It's Celtic. Some religious building. Some religious mm -hmm. should fix this. Some some here. you cultural influence or a nice uh, Jupiter one is the one that's more. I think Jupiter is the one that's given the most cultural conversion. Yeah. The political yeah. power, I think. Mm hmm. So I will yeah, start with that. Point. Note that the village here, they're kind of specialized, so they give them a village, but it's horse trainers. Yeah. Let's see here. So count that. These also need. Yeah, this Indeed. is one of the things that it incentivizes is these buildings of like you as a cultural converter. Just making buildings. Build is, is temples are the only build. thing. It's a very, it's a very, no, uh, what was that? I'm sorry. You, you, you do have cultural things, you think like libraries or something like that, that might affect the... some of some of these, like, uh, I think some of these also affect oh, the library, not the, no research rate. No. Okay. <clears throat> Are you doing any research? Remember the research? Yes, I just ticked. I did military research because this is going to be a pretty military focused campaign. It's really funny that you don't even get like the basic land management and here you are Rome in 40 BC and you still have to do like land management, <laughs> yeah. one, the, the most basic of things. Land but I think I'm going to actually just focus on military stuff because they were already from the get go. A Where's my stance? Okay, so they move. So next turn. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Our agent gets. So do I have a mod downloaded, or do they do actually have a reference just straight up to Pullo from um, uh, what's the thing called the, the Rome series? I guess they already yeah because I I, de I deleted all my mods so I guess this is actually in the game and it's a really good uh Julio <laughs> yeah it's it's also a really good uh set of bonuses that he gets actually yeah, oh, yeah. I'm get that one yeah they got they got those characters um from I don't remember which Roman historian 
like from like Pulo the, and 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 and, the, and his dude and Varidis. Isn't it in Caesar's account? Is it? It's I think Caesar's I account. think it's he Caesar's a, account. He has, a, he has a wonderful tendency to go to highlight like a specific unit or a specific guy. He's like, and this guy in this battle did something super courageous. But it was yeah. it was because of me. But, right, but he it was did just it, like, yeah. But he, he did it. But he was followed my order. <laughs> All right, so I think I don't have anything standing, so we can just I have a good surplus of money that I will be hoarding. Well, let's go spend it in killing. I, yeah, I did a really I recruited a bunch because uh, Rome, uh, you get a lot of military buildings from the get go. Uh, so you can recruit basically an entire army, just like stamp your foot and they will raise like the the what is it, the, the people that are sewed into the ground from the teeth? Uh, the Spartoi. Yeah, the Spartoi. Let's see, non-aggression pack, sure. Yeah, I, yeah, we're good, we're good with that. We need as many as possible, because I really don't need anybody sneaking up from the back right now. We'll I'm try, putting all my, us. yeah, I'm putting mm -hmm. all my, my eggs into the Lepidus basket. So I'm going to do a naval blockade. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's important. It's important yeah. to the blockade so they can they can trade. I mean it also if... it also substantially lowers the uh amount of sieging time. Although yeah. I don't know why am I am I being actually blocked by Pompey? I think you're being blocked moving? by them. Yeah, I'm in I'm in his little area yeah. of control. Also interesting that they chose um uh, Acragas, which was not called Agrigentum. I was hmm. called Acragas, and not Lilibeum, which was actually the harbor on that side, and it's the closest harbor to Carthage. Ooh. And Lilibeum was there I in know, the first I, I, game. I, I... Yes, it was there in the first game. Yeah, yeah, and Acragas was not, because, I mean, there's, there's not, I mean, there's a, it's, it was not a, a naval base. Like, Lilibeum was an important one, and, and they, they captured it during the Punic Wars because it was so important. Um, and it was, and Lily Bayon was like the version 2.0 of Mozia. <laughs> so, which is not exactly a nice place where to have a fleet because Mozia is an island inside like a giant, basically, like, uh, it's not a bay. It's a very narrow bay, but like you can't get in with ships. So when it was, um, actually to conquer it, they had to drag, like the, the Greeks had to drag the ships on land to put the ships in the bay to take the island. So, um it was, you know, those were the days. <laughs> it was, it was a great moment. Was, well, I mean, it was a good moment for for the Greeks. Oh yeah, they were like, well, I mean, the long history of dragging ships on land. It happens also during the siege of of Constantinople in fourteen fifty three. Yeah, they dragged the ships up off the Golden Horn. So you know, uh, it, you know, it's it's a good old tradition. Uh, I cannot believe I was just cock blocked by. Uh... Pompey's son to I mean, invade to invade Carthage. Like, leave me alone. I mean, how dare you? You know, we we got important things to do. Oh yes, just be friends. I love you all, barbarians. It's funny that I get all like look at the, the house, yeah. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, like get it. Yeah, just all these non-aggression packs. I love you all. Oh, god damn it! Perate, perate. Okay. Here. I'm gonna have to do some adjusting of mm -hmm. raising of some Gallic legionaries, get some wellites. Right. Yeah, and then I should be free now. Okay. Yeah. Double time and then just get in there. Okay. And then my guy has leveled up, and I'm just gonna keep giving him more bonuses to my infantry just because I think that's super good and then agrippa's following behind oh, <laughs> he's okay. trailing a little bit it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna take him some time but he will yeah, be there eventually fine. it's fine he'll catch up it is boo augustus uh don't need that missile damage the romans famously are not missile heavy um yeah, let's do that upkeep cost is always good because especially navies ancient navies took so much to upkeep just because like ships were so high maintenance that a lot of the time naval work was contracted out to people that like knew what they were talking about. Like the Seleucids, for instance, they had uh, fleets from local Phoenician cities that contributed greatly to their navy. And who who knew who knew ships better than the Phoenicians? You know? Exactamente. And the answer is the Greeks. Well, that's a that's a tradition <laughs> from the Persians, no? Cool. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Issues, yep. Yeah. Definitions. Yeah. Exactly. Issues. Exactly. Oh well, I mean. Should yeah. we? Should we? I mean, I mean this is gonna come in. Should we? Oh, we did about the battle, battle uh, on in Alexandria. These things just go them. No. Oh, okay, we'll do the Alexandria oh, yeah. one. So yeah, let's yeah, yeah. just do this quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's see the size of victory. Thank you, thank you. We love that. I will take it, especially since it's Carthage. Um, exactly. Exactly. How, how's Rome? Okay, they could use with a little some conversion I mean, for the Roman ways. Right. You know, Carthage. So, Carthage was settled by Caesar. I was about uh, to say. Yeah. It, it already was like. Uh huh. A, a very Roman city, with I think the second largest circus in the in the Roman Empire later on, um, and never salted, and never salted. That's true. That's true. That's bullshit. <laughs> but it was cursed. It was there cursed. was uh, there was this curse that uh, that Caesar bypassed by what is it was a sacrifice or an oracle or a, a, a religious de decision to. Say that it was okay to resettle because the the, yeah. um, the original was to um, never resettle in this place yeah. again, and it yeah, was yeah. abandoned for many many centuries. Yeah, that's true. For but it's such a but it's such a good years. it's such a good position for for a city. Yeah, you're like, perfect, you yeah. Can't, can't let it. Also, if you look at like um, Phoenician settlements in the Western Mediterranean, they're all the same. There's a peninsula, a natural gulf, and a river nearby. Oh, all no. of them. All of them. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh shit, are we gonna oh, get no Agrippa's gonna die? Oh no, oh there's well. no way I can win this because he has actual sh uh, ships and I only have troop transport. This is alternative history. Agrippa, yeah. di well, Agrippa oh, dies he... on his way. Well, he'll take okay, well, yeah, we'll do something, Agrippa. Well, oh, all right, B. That hurts. Okay. Oh, R. yikes. R. Oh, that's so bad. I... Who is gonna build the Pantheon now? Right, who's gonna, who's gonna build the Pantheon now? Agrippa Postum. Well, there's not going to be Agrippa Postumus, though. That's a win. Um, so... <laughs> um, okay, so we are asking... Uh, we are killing a whole season of I, Claudius. That's very true. <laughs> that's very true. And uh, we're also asked, when will the elephants appear? Because I, can't, we have I don't think the Romans, I think I might be able to raise them up through mercenaries, but I don't think the Romans get a cavalry building that can recruit elephants, right? If anything, they'd have to be either regional troops in somewhere in North Africa or somewhere in, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe in North Africa. At the time, there were still elephants in the area west of uh, Carthage. Yeah, I'm trying to see. They're not, the, they're the, not really the little good ones. Things to fight, you know. This African mm. elephants are very disappointing since Raphael. I mean, to be fair, why would they want to fight? They're like, eh. <laughs> no, the the Seleucid uh, elephants were yeah. really, really they were, nasty because yeah. well, they, they were they were bred for that. Is a big no, but you know that they tried when they the Ptolemies tried to uh, when they saw that okay. They have elephants. We get elephants from Meroe. Mm -hmm. and there is all uh, a few a few decades of trade and relationship between the Ptolemy the Ptolemies and uh, and the Meroitic uh, mm -hmm. kings. Uh, we have um, hunting uh, parties and settlements. And there is huge, uh, and then in Rafia they just suck. <laughs> they are so <laughs> small. Yeah, it was like it's like we the spent... tanks are not firing, you know. They were all yeah. retreating because they are much smaller than the Asian elephant. Oh. And then they're too cute and, and nice to go fight. Oh, so. they're so sweet. So I have I have a question like ele elephant elephant husbandry. So would <laughs> they go and capture the babies and raise them? Would they try to capture like the moms and then some males to have more? Like, how do we know? It's like Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, you, have the, the, you have the elephant hunt from, but uh, the the Ptolemaic evidence for like the uh, the elephant hunt, but I forget if they specifically. Say. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm sure that it doesn't say, but maybe there are other sources. Because there know. are there are like some very nice um, Greek and also Roman refigurations of like the elephants, like the war elephants from from like from emperors coming in, and there's like mama elephant with the mahout on top and the baby holding her her tail with his ah. trunk. <laughs> and they are the cutest thing ever. 
but like so clearly they were breeding them right and that's that's a lot of that's a lot of grass that you gotta give them that's a lot of effort to and you need to keep them like reasonably healthy if you want to be able to you know to send them somewhere yeah they're, and, they're they're high maintenance they're it's why they're such a status symbol right it's why you have the salukas especially using that elephant iconography when they can get it just because it, it shows that you have such a command over resources and, mm -hmm. and yeah they're, they're expensive yeah. Also, like how how do you send them across the sea right if you're if you're Pyrrhus, how do you send them across you know, from Epiros to Italy, do you have a, for a big, uh, big old flat, transport uh, big boat? boat. <laughs> <laughs> do you make like a big flat boat and hope that they'll be fine in like the you know half an hour it takes yeah. to cross? <laughs> you just do you sing to them? Do you just do you just distract them? Like, do you, do you give them a little lifesaver and make them swim? I don't know. I have so many questions. Well, we had a decisive victory there. Uh, yeah, I, I really well. First of all, my army is now diseased. Uh, which is great. Um, Let's can can we send can we send like some some plague spreaders into the city? There are chat uh, chat things that are interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen Disney fantasy. Yeah, you said swimming and dancing. Yes, with a pink tutu. <laughs> That's fair. I, I'm not sure I would bring those into battle. Uh, unless it was a dance, a dance off, in which case those were yes. the elephants of Raffia. From those the were the Raffia elephants. Oh my <laughs> God. The, the Ptolemaic elephants. They were like they were very dainty elephants. Um, but yeah, no, so so many so many good questions and so you know so little so little answers. I would love to know more about that. Um, I'm also reminded of like speaking of like capturing like wild animals and and doing it weird. Um, in one of the um, one of the biggest cycles of like mosaics in the Western Mediterranean, Roman mosaics in the Western Mediterranean, it's in Sicily, it's in uh, Piazza Armenia in the Villa del Casale. And there's this giant mosaic of the hunt. So it's Romans capturing um, wild animals for the games. Um, and there's, you know, there's there's crocodiles, there's I think some rhymes and everything else. And then there's this guy who is single-handedly lifting up and bringing away an ostrich. Okay? <laughs> He's lifting up. Lifting up a whole Come ostrich, <laughs> it's like you are going to die a really bad death because that ostrich is going to deck you. Um, but yes, yeah, so it is it's, like we like of uh, Assassin's Creed origin. There is all this part of the game that you are you're fighting Roman poachers in the delta, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but it's it's so weird. Let's see if I can find if I can find images of this because it's 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 bad, it's like. They're, they're capturing weird things they're like oh there's leopards and and bears um and like uh antilopes and lions and tigers um and then there's like a um quite convincing rhinoceros i have to say hmm. um like, rarity yeah, oh they surely they had seen one because this one looks this one looks almost convincing almost i didn't say yeah. it's perfect but it looks almost convincing i'm looking for the guy with the ostrich Ah, there's a link uh, uh -huh. with the, is, it, is it a late antique mosaic, right? It's late antique, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, you know, they're the elephants, they definitely they definitely seen the elephants. Um, which is great. Oh, there we go. We got two guys with the ostriches. <laughs> Come here, you <laughs> yeah. It's it's just it's just like look at look at these boys. Like they're they're just they're just bring in those ostriches. Ah, it's a huge mosaic. Wow. Yeah, it's a giant. It's a giant mosaic. It's real. I've I've walked on it. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, that's the guy with the angry ostrich, and th that one's walking it. The guy next to him is just lifting it and just bringing it around. It's you know. Oh, thank you for the the whole work on elephants and warfare. I War elephants. That. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, what I remember is the uh, in the Fontes Historia in Ubiorum, there is a whole section where it, the documents are all by uh, chronological order, but there is all, all the documents relating to the trade of elephants from Meroe to, to the Ptolemies. And I'm sure there is no mention of, uh, of how small they are or how big they are. Uh, I might have to source yeah. somewhere else to see how they train them and how and battle deployment. Oh, you want to fight this? I yeah. might have to fight it. The, the auto result it is, is not there are lines, uh, 480 Lepidus people coming. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, 
My mercenaries can do a lot of the work. I mean, one hope, one can hope. And the that's one of the things. No, no, is that the Romans were not famed for their cavalry. Often they would have auxilia served in the cavalry role. So this is very Roman of me. This is very Roman of you, exactly, exactly. Here. And the Vigiles, Vigiles, however you want to pronounce that, where that are supposed to be the uh, city, kind of the city garrison that have just been, so they have very, they're pretty standard troops that they are in the back. Mm -hmm. They're basically meant to represent just garrison forces, just local levies. And then, of course, the legionaries are right there. The stream you know, is not very, very smooth, huh? Do you see the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 skipping a lot because we're not we're not using OBS. We're uh, s screen sharing for once. That's not that's not in my place. Okay, I don't know whose whose ambulance that is. It's it was an elephant. Oh, that, that was, was, was an running. elephant. <laughs> <laughs> it was clearly an elephant. They're coming for us. Oh. <laughs> Let's see here. I will do this quick then, since it seems to lag when. It is an actual field battle. Oh, that was not me. That was whoever's honking there. That was <laughs> the elephant. The elephant in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the reinforcements? Oh, great. From behind? From behind, but they, I think they're only, they're incredibly light. They're 400. Characters. Yeah, but they are 480, huh? It's fine. If are I they like, like, them, like citizens? What are they? They have they have their own mercenary. Uh, okay. Cavalry. Oh, they so have, probably have the, the Iberian cavalry, which is, yeah. which is long tradition. Um, we actually have the mercenaries that fought in Battle of Himera in 480 BCE, and they were um, um, like mounted mounted mercenaries from Iberia, and we have their tombs, their mass ah. graves in Sicily uh, with their horses. So we, we know that it's them. We're like, you know, they buried them. They buried all the thousands of them that they killed. But they're there. Um, great excavation going on there. Incredible stuff. Very sad, too. But, you know. Uh, so, yeah. You the, have this uh, projectile cavalry? Yes, I'm currently trying to skirmish against their own. And I, if I'm not mistaken, flame shot should be good against cavalry the only problem is that they also have skirmishers that are kind of chipping away at my cavalry and i really need them so i don't want to actually overcommit there but i'm gonna well they're coming anyway so yeah you have to prepare your back <clears throat> it's oh, very oh, nice when they shout when you select the army and say astati oh yeah. yes yes, <laughs> yes. That, that is reminiscent i mean that clearly is is the very reminiscent of the Rage of Empires. Oh, we have Lepidus here, by the way. Oh, we have we have the man, the man Where himself. Is he? Where, is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. I mean, we should kill him. I'm just saying. There he I is. Right solve, there. I wouldn't solve anything. It's, uh, yeah, well, the pleasure of killing him on the bus. The pleasure of killing Lepidus, like the pleasure of killing one one of the tri tri three three. I mean, we three. lost Agrippa on uh, on the scene. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's here. only fair that we kill Lepidus <laughs> really, now. Yeah, we need to unleash our anger exactly them. exactly you know we, we gotta we gotta avenge agrippa <clears throat> exactly exactly and then we need we need to raise cartage again um yeah. uh, <laughs> it's too Eduardo, yeah. <laughs> and agrippa there <laughs> wow wow yeah augustus would have been would have been said also uh, that would have probably changed the course of history because agrippa was the winner of the battle of actium uh because octavian was Clearly not the one commanding the, the fleet. I mean, I'm just saying. It was nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, ah. He was puking on the side. Um, and yeah, and Agrippa was, you know, you know, was beating Octavian and Cleopatra's sorry asses. Um, although I I do not buy that she was that she was running away and trying to, you know, trying to leave him. Pee, pee, pee. Uh, but who knows? Maybe she was. Uh, I don't believe that. Like I, I think it's very convenient that the the evil Oriental woman is running away. Oh uh, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The a whole series of stereotypes against against Cleopatra from the right. very I don't... that is just absolutely that's uh, ridiculous. Give give us a so very unbalanced idea of who she was. Yeah, no, exactly. The exactly. Desperate need for money because 
that was the thing that at the end uh, forced them to to attack Cleopatra, to make sure that Cleopatra was involved in the war, mm -hmm. is that he needed her money to yeah. pay his troops. Yeah. Yeah. So there was no no question that once once the war started, she was going to, to, to be finished. It was a question of the life life or death for the Roman, for Octavian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also there was like the, the added like ideological issue oh. of her having children with with Anthony and these children being gifted parts of what was the Roman territory right no, part, part of the part of the scorn of Octavian was because she was a woman well of course I mean Octavian was a sociopath can we are say we it? fighting again what what kind of countries do they have a woman as a ruler and it's like right oh, right no? I mean and she's a monster no according to the I mean I mean yes Horus says fatale monstrum yeah. um which mm. is He's not totally negative in that old though. That is weird because like you, you have this whole very dark picture of it. And then he's like, but we're going to give it to her. Uh, Horace also hated women, like, but you got to give it to her. She died like a courageous death. Like she drank the dark poison rather than being displayed. And I was like, yes, thank you. I mean, yes, that is the way to go, right? The fuck was drama, she... I, mean. <laughs> I mean, what was she supposed to do, right? Um, Run I mean, naked was... against the army. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. Especially like, especially since like being displayed <laughs> in a in a Roman triumph would also probably entail being killed in public view, um, or strangled away from you know from from everyone's eyes after the triumph was dead, like they did with with several Gaul, uh, like the several leaders of the Gaul, Gaul tribes. Um, so yeah, she she really was she was not about well, are that. Are you winning this? Where is the balance of the battle? I don't see. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm still I'm still losing just because he has, I think he has more legionaries than I do. Oh. Um I'm trying to do some Oh, I killed the enemy general though. Oh, there you go. he's dead. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, Lepidus. Bye. Hopefully that'll cause a chain route, Lepidus though I doubt it. I mean, I hope so. You know, their general's dead, our general is kind of alive. Maybe, probably. Uh, yeah. No, no, yeah. I forget who he is. It's just some name. Wait, who is he? Nias Calvius. Okay, or Calvinus. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, it's on dude. Okay, that's good. Justice for justice for Agrippa, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Yes, maybe. we also we also killed Di Claudius, but that's okay. We can deal with that. Considering I have veteran legionaries charging downhill. I mean, running. I, I think I might still lose. Yeah. That's okay. Well, well we I'm put up a good gonna, fight at least. I'm just gonna speed up. Oh, yeah. my general try to oh, actually let me see if I can just take out the skirmishers if anything that would that would help I mean if yeah. you can route them good move good move yeah 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 uh, killing 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 well I already I, I got my I got the revenge kill which is the lepidus kill so I will, I will exactly take, so that's good from the back so they get scared Boom. yeah but but they're blobbed up here they have Not too, too many for like yeah yeah no they're 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 a lot Against, uh, where's uh, the, I don't a good loss, the, the good yeah. A good defeat. Yeah. I'll take it. If I can get like a Pyrrhic victory for them, I'll take it. Uh, yeah. How am I still? Oh, there we go. Costly, Costly enemy. enemy. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, that's better than Pyrrhic it. victory. We we'll take it. We we'll take it. We'll yeah. take it. Thank you very much. We're we're good with that. Uh, how Hellenistic defeat. of us to take a Pyrrhic <laughs> victory. A valiant defeat. That's good. Honor is intact. <laughs> My general didn't. Oh, actually, wait. Did my general die? I guess he performed a devotio. Yeah. Did we lose our eagles? If we didn't. No, lose no, eagles, he's still alive. Fine. Oh, that's good. Then who cares? Let's go. <laughs> Listen, if if the Romans survive, survive Ticino Trebia Trasimeno, then then we can survive this battle, right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> um, Maybe not this one because I don't have enough reinforcements. Yeah, that's the key part. So he's gonna just do oh, a just single gonna, kill. Yeah. yeah, here in the shoulder. <laughs> oh yikes! I mean, it's a noble it's death. A noble ah! death, and we get <laughs> and we get new sports right with the ancestors, right? Yeah, oh, I love that. Ciao, now. bye bye. Ciao and bye. It's Sorry. fine. We can raise another one. I have so much money right now because I spent the first turn just securing everything. That's and again, and, uh, what's his face? Oh, acculturation. Oh, there we go. Cultural understanding, syncretism. Okay. Okay. Subjugation. Yeah, big big words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Inclusion, they, uh, right? What's what's the difference between within cultural understanding and cultural integration? So, f 
Per plus owning factor, spreading culture, influence, minus 20 public order due to local presence of foreign culture. Subjugation, oppress just, all, plus 10, oh, and no no backlash whatsoever. Oh, yeah, because everyone's dead. It doesn't even, no, it, you don't even lose anything. Okay. No, there's no negative to just subjugation. That is a choice. <laughs> oh, minus 50% public order penalties. Okay. So we can be integrating and then we get less public order penalties if there's a different culture in our thing. Culture okay. understanding. Okay, so this one, syncretism is, is like subjugation and inclusion is syncretism. So actually okay. all of them are positive. Okay. I think syncretism is the... I mean, it is it is a very Roman thing to do, right? Oh, you know, trying to syncretize the gods and, and, yeah. and if, if it ain't broken. Oh, right? All right, oh, Calvinus is gone. Uh, Siti mm. Viterra Lewis, uh, you know, Calvinus. Uh, <laughs> Calvinus, uh, un antenato di Italo. Nice. <laughs> Italo Calvino. There we go. I'll just do this. Yeah, exactly, Max. No negatives to subjugation is a take. It's like, oh, yeah, it's all good. Everyone's happy. I was expecting, like, no, people don't like that. Like, usually there is backlash. Let's um, do this Asian. Oh, yeah. Ligio Quarta Rapax. Yeah. <laughs> like that. A raptor legion. Yes, like it's that. Been it. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's get some Gauls. And we'll invade Spain once more. It's fine. We got Carthage. It's fine. That's good. That's good. That's what matters. Colonia, Julia, Carthago. Exactly. Exactly. A nice, a very nice place. Criminally under excavated. Um, but you know, considering the political situation. Uh, that... There is good news, nevertheless, mm -hmm. because they are revamping the UNESCO site at the Acropolis. <laughs> Finally. And they just uh, they just announced the, the winners of the international competition. The architects Ooh. are going to rechange the whole Birsa Ooh. hill. That would be great. And the museum and the archaeological management of the site, which is going to be probably very beautiful. Oh, I love that. Two years' time, but it's, it's something... Yeah. Very much to be looking forward to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if o sorry, okay. Um, <laughs> if only, it's... if only we still had, we still had, you know, the the harbor with the rounds, you know, the rounds. Oh, it's very. The you know, it's still, it's still very visible. If yeah. you go on Google Earth, you actually Ooh, still see the. Let me see. You can still see the the layout of the circular and also part of the rectangular harbor. Let and me see. Uh, let me see. It's actually very cool. Very very cool. Okay. I, I know a lot about this because <laughs> I was part of the competition. We didn't win. So we, we were oh. a team of architects uh, uh, ah. in Egypt and we tried to submit a project. So we had to do all the background study of the city and stuff. Oh, I like that. I love that. Okay. So are you going so... to invade uh, the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt? Or? Uh, yeah. Um... Yes. Well, that's still I'm trying, I'm trying to see if I can, I, I can just open up my WeCheat and I can get unlimited movement and we can just kind of steamroll into. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it'll actually work. Give me one second. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, my God. You can see it on, on Google Maps. This is incredible. Ah, you saw it? <laughs> can you yes. share like a, a screen or something? Uh, or a link? Let's see. Let's see if this link works. Let's see. Limited soldier movement is F7. Okay. I mean, it says Punic Ports of Carthage and National Institute of Marine Sciences and Technologies Museum. Uh, Restaurant Le Punic, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. Punic, Punic, Ports of, yeah, Punic Ports of Carthage. I think if you share this link. Yeah, I, I put it on the. Um... Whoa. I shared a link on to Google Maps. I don't know if it's going to if it's going to open exactly. Where, oh no, yeah, it will. Yeah, you just need to change to like zoom in more in and use like the. Uh, uh, it's loading. Uh, let me check. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's very well. No, it's yeah. Very good oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would also yeah. It could also be an interesting live ancient places view from Google Maps. The problem is that like we would see no ancient places in Italy because everything has been like either built over or they're like you know, um, or they're in the open air. To be fair, like uh, if you in the site where I work in the summer, you can see it from 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 Google, like in Google Maps because the um, the archaeological site is well cleaned and and maintained. That's actually a very good idea. Huh? Ancient yeah. places from yeah. No, we're we're, we're oh, right there's the pirates. 
Oh, well. How would you like to deal with the sea vermin? <laughs> I mean, is there any is there any question to the fact that we're going to kill all of them? <laughs> Pirate hunting. There we go. Right. Oh. Oh, oh baby. We have a t- Lucius Julius Imperiosus. Imperiosus. Oh, wow. Imperiosus. <laughs> They're really laying it on thick. Oh um, wow! Okay, he's, guys, guys is nanny crazy. Uh, does, does he already have like a little breath on his little fluffy head, like in that don't image? I want to eat Garu. Yeah, no. Oh, look at him! He's just. Oh, he is uh, well. <laughs> he's yeah. got the right stats for a baby. The that's baby's true. got good Imperium. That's good. Well, that's why it's Imperiosus. Also, yeah, he's blonde. Yeah, yeah. And his mother has red hair, so probably the fa- the father might have been blonde. Who knows? Yes. Okay. Who knows? The, we should have unlimited movement now. Oh, that's Let me good. See if my cheats work. Is it because we had a child? Ah, Shaiza, <laughs> Unlimited soldier movement, unlimited agent movement. You can uh, you can increase the movement by selecting uh, this one stance. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, the force marched or double time, and this one. the only problem. Hmm. Usually it works out. Well, we can just beeline. I'll just hit and turn like a madman. <laughs> someone, someone is angrily honking outside of the window. It's not. It's not a goose. It's it's a a, a person. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just surprised it's not me because usually this street is very active. Oh yeah, it it, it happens. Okay, clients defer Lemuria. Oh, oh, Lemuria, like the, the celebrations. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Lepidus okay. is having some problems keeping his clients in check. Maybe he shouldn't have just declared Maybe war on clients. me. Maybe he should have clients. Maybe <laughs> their clients, his clients should be our clients. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's go. We are beeline in it. Usually, hmm, that's so weird that these cheats, usually the cheats are pretty solid on maybe God mode. Hmm, no attrition, limited Asian movement. Yeah. Huh. Oh well, I'll just keep hitting intern, which is oh, keep well. accumulating an insane amount of money. I mean, are we gonna complain? Absolutely not. No, no, no. Although Pompey's doing some stuff. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can uh, to, to game settings off. There we go. That'll speed things up. Okay. I don't think I even see. I don't think I even see Cleopatra on the map yet. I don't think All I'm right. able to interact with her. Oh, oh there's a great she's... fire somewhere. Oh well. Oh, she's gonna be there, right? Right? Somehow. She should be. Oh, there we go. There's my unlimited oh, there movement. We go. Now it's kicking in. Now we're talking. Now we're yeah, talking. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go to Alexandria. Let's keep. Ooh, but she I has thought... a. Oh whoa! Oh, there she is, right there. Oh. Whoa, she's wearing that. That oh, is a wow. choice. Wow, she's wearing a whole ass no, full chart. <laughs> is is she depicted her. on the. Yeah, there she is on the map also. She gets her own little uh, custom thing. Fantastic. So the, the crown that she's wearing is, is a very like Egyptian inspired uh, hmm. crown yeah. for a queen. So, like, when in. Um, what is it? God. Uh, no, it's. Um, Oh my God! The new, the new Ten Commandments, the the Ten Commandments shit with with um with uh with everyone everyone was white. What was it? Now I'm thinking Gods of Egypt, but it's not. <laughs> it's like ah, oh, with, with Christian Bale and and oh. the fucking Australian playing Ramesses. You know, <laughs> they don't, what I don't are you about? <laughs> It's a movie. It's a movie, and they have Ramesses the Second wearing a vulture crown in battle. Ah. Instead of instead of the the blue war crown, uh, and it's it's bad. No, it's not gods of Egypt. It's something worse than that. Uh, is it gods of Egypt? <laughs> something worse than that. Yeah, and some of them are well. Yes, yeah, uh, uh-huh. yeah. We, we have the giants. This is the you know that. Okay. Oh wow, um, they're they're really going over there. Is it okay? That's great. Yeah, some some are giants. Also that. Um, but to be fair, having divine figures being giant is not wrong for egyptian art it's just everything else is wrong so are you besieging alexander what are you doing so, so should, should we, should we yeah should we go to alexander or should we try to catch cleopatra wherever she is i, I lost her where is she it was uh, exodus god and kings 
the movie that I was, that I was referring to. It's elephants. bad. It's bad. Oh, um, an elephant. Oh, in, oh, in Siwa. oh elephants. Yeah. Oh, the, the boys. In you, can, you can pick uh, as your general if you're in the Egypt faction. You can ah, pick yes, an elephant. Oh, unit. my God. African war elephants. Did they know that they sucked? I mean, no offense <laughs> to the boys. I'm sure they were doing their best, but. I don't need them. Where, is Cle Where did Cleopatra go? She was there in, in Paritonium and in Marsa Matro. Yeah, I, I just saw her. Maybe she's back in Alexandria. We'll see. I'll use my limited movement to just send. Yeah, she couldn't have gone that far unless maybe the unlimited movement also maybe goes she to the also AI. Has... Yeah, she also <laughs> has unlimited movement. She could just be oh. in Rome right now and I wouldn't know about it. Oh, we're Jerusalem. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, yeah, now, now the next one. Oh, um, Cleopatra is besieging Rome with elephants. And we're like, well, oh, then. she's there. Yeah, she's there. No, I know. No, just, I think it's just some general. Diplomatic. Just some, yeah. just some random general that they have over there. Let's see so, here. Let me construct some. Okay. So originally, the siege of, of Alexandria had two forces. Octavian actually coming from the east and Cornelius Gallus coming from the west. So you came from the West, like Cornelius Gallus, who eventually would be mm. the first. Uh, uh, Prefectus, I mm. give thee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> was, long, wasn't, not, wasn't, not very long time, because he's a very ambitious yeah. man. Wasn't <laughs> Egypt like a personal property of the emperor, so he could no, appoint that's, that's not, whoever the fuck he not, wanted? That's okay. not. That's a, that's a misconception. Good. He, uh, the army was the army of the Roman uh, Republic. The mm -hmm. money went into the treasury mm -hmm. of uh, the Roman Republic. It's just that the uh, the choice of the governor uh, resided with the uh, princeps uh, taken from the uh, equites. So okay. he has this power of selecting who's going to be the governor. Well, it is uh, an important it's an important province, although it is not the grain. The it grain the silo important. of the Mediterranean. Uh, you know that now Egypt is importing wheat. This is very sad. <laughs> These days, this the, is, the war what? in uh, Ukraine is affecting uh, the, the cost of bread. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 it was still a very important exporter uh, mm -hmm. for, for Rome and for especially for the city of Rome. And then eventually for Constantinople as well. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the city... Well, oh my God! Let's let's talk now. about let's talk about this plan. Let's talk about this right, plan. There is all there is all uh, me and Kate talking about. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's it's always yeah, this, and, uh, ancient Alexandria. There's a whole ass. We, we can uh, no, you st oh, yeah, if you can just go oh, around. Yeah, we can look at it. Oh my God! Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. It's okay. The, yeah. Okay, so this obviously is the famous uh, lighthouse. 110 meters with the tritons with the tritons oh my god yeah that's that's relatively accurate you had these tritons uh blowing horns in case of um, uh, fog of course the, the, the whole purpose of the tower is uh, fire and light with uh, probably mirrors but these ones are actually supposed to be blown there probably was a mechanism that would make a sound to guide the ships into the harbor I can't get to the oh well I can't get to the top. And this is the so the island of Pharos would have had a temple of Isis that doesn't look like this there. I don't, like, yeah, I don't see obelisk, anything. Uh, <laughs> random, random single obelisk that would not be the case, not yet, not until the Romans mm -hmm. arrive. The architecture in Egypt was always, even in the Ptolemaic period, always to have two obelisks. Yeah. As you skip the Epta Stadion, show us the, the bridge connecting the island of oh, Florence. Yeah. With, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. the, that's the bridge that would have been yeah, 70 stadia long, uh, connecting the island with the rest of the city. I guess the large temple is the Serapeum, mm -hmm. this one, it, the one on the right. Oh, the one, one more on the right. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, up a little bit. This probably is the Serapeum temple, so the main temple of the city in the Acropolis. Mm -hmm. With uh, two obelisks, with the Parthenon frease. I didn't yeah. think of that much. <laughs> yeah. 
that's the part that don't freeze. Probably not Doric either. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, they, they took the Parthenon and just and just made it into the. You know way. something that had two obelisks in front that looked very much like this was the uh, the uh, Caesarium, the Temple to Caesar. It's the first Roman building erected in Alexander right after this battle, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that Edward is going to win for us. So mm -hmm. so then we can build. The very interesting thing is that if you look at the city, is uh, all on. Uh, According to the Hippodamian city planning, it's a grid of streets intersecting at 90 degrees angles with the main uh, east-west uh, axis and the main uh, north-south, which is still still the imprint of the city today. If you walk around in the center of Alexandria, you have this. Um, and um, the interesting thing that you see in the game is that the city is mainly a Greek city, as it is in in the as it was in reality, but you do have a couple of ancient Egyptian style temples. I saw I saw a whole ass temple with like piles. We have we have yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have Roman we have Roman coins that show mm -hmm. us that the Temple of Isis in Alexandria was probably in the ancient Egyptian traditional mm -hmm. formal style with the pile and yeah. towers and stuff like yeah. that. There is there's also the whole. It's thing a much much where... smaller city in this game than than yeah. Any, any that is. Oh, there is also the the whole the whole thing was oh where was Cleopatra when she died because mm -hmm. was she like in the Temple of Isis was she in her palace because the way it is described to me it looks like a temple pylon because like oh they opened the window up there and then they pull they pulled down like ropes. Now, isn't it supposed to be the, the the crypt or the tomb of the of the kings the Ptolemaic uh... um when she's doing where she's doing her last stand is like they are they're pulling Anthony who is dying up to bring him to her. And the door is barred, but there are windows upstairs, which is why I was thinking that sounds like a pylon, right? That doesn't sound like a palace. That sounds like a pylon to me. And what? there are people who have said, oh, maybe she was in the Temple of Isis, and they just said that it was a palace, but it was actually the Temple of Isis in on the well, other side. That's, that's a common misconception. Of right? To call, uh, to call yeah, to call a temple a temple, palace. Yeah, a palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is it is important. Like, and there were like stairs going into into the the temple pylons. Like, if you if you've never done that, you can do that. Um, there is also, a question that is fire. <laughs> okay, I mean, As you can take it. tomb. Do we know where she is? Uh, I think she was building one. She had one. There was the royal. She must have been building one, right? The royal tombs of the Ptolemies were uh, still existing. Uh, a few a few years later and there is also the famous uh, <clears throat> alexander um, tomb visited by octavian in mm -hmm. this occasion mm -hmm. he enters the city he goes straight to see the, the tomb of alexander and then they ask him if he wants <laughs> to see the tombs of the of the other ptolemies and he says i came to see a king and not corpses <laughs> so, yeah i came to see a god and not not these bitches right and it's then uh, and then uh, um, it's, it's the, it's the Ptolemaic, yeah, it's the Ptolemaic say, police. Let me say something because I really I want to say this. Yes, yeah, say it. <laughs> say it. Say it. The, uh, I think that the uh, the tomb of Cleopatra is outside of uh, Alexandria in this uh, uh, place called Abu Sir. Now in Arabic, mm -hmm. it's called Borg al Arab, where there is a, a very vast uh, stone. Uh, Ptolemaic temple, I think by the time of Ptolemy II, Ptolemy III, temple to Osiris. And there is this uh, Dominican archaeologist, not really an archaeologist, to be fair. She's a lawyer and has, I think, yeah, she has some degree maybe in, in archaeology, but she's not mm -hmm. really an archaeologist. And she's been working there for a while. Every season, oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yes, and she's been trumpeting this. Uh, this time, we find the tomb of Cleopatra, and she's obviously aided by the other <coughs> famous Egyptian archaeologist with the hat, who's yeah. always there whenever. And the linen a... and the linen shirts, and 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 it's not your wife; it's a male's. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever there is uh, some publicity to be gained, he is in, in it. So every now and then they say, "Ah, oh, we're very close to finding the tomb of Cleopatra. I'm very fine, close to finding the tomb of Cleopatra. There's no basis that she's buried there. So there's absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That um, tells us he was probably buried in the Ptolemy Ptolemaic uh, family tomb in within the city that now probably <clears throat> is under the sea because that should be that part of the city that eventually uh, sank mm -hmm. with the earthquake. Uh, so the, I think the 
I know who is honking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's yeah, no, it's it's the you know it's uh, yeah, it's just uh, yeah. Yeah. every every week is either uh, I'm one week from discovering the tomb of Cleopatra, and then the next week I'm one week from discovering the tomb of Nefertiti, and then I oh, always it's always. I mean, I thought I thought for I thought that to find Nefertiti we had to look inside of Tutankhamun's tomb. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, I, don't thought open that I thought uh, uh, I thought we had to drill. Anyways, um, or maybe we already have her. Maybe she's the young lady. The interesting thing is the tomb of Alexander, because in Alexandria there is this amazing mosque mm -hmm. called the Mosque of Nabi Daniel or the Prophet Daniel, which is mm -hmm. not the Prophet Daniel of the Bible, mm. uh, is a Daniel um, holy man that came from Tunisia or Morocco, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And he's buried in Alexandria in this mosque. But this mosque is built on <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> your namesake, you know, not your I'm namesake. Still, <laughs> and there's a, and there is a there is an under there is a crypt. There is at a certain mm. point in the mosque there is actually uh, a shaft going down and uh, a set of uh, underground passages. And uh, there is this uh, urban myth that it's the the tomb of Alexander because it is more or less on the main uh, uh, north-south axis and uh, yeah there is a chance that it mm. uh, there is this very 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 beautiful book uh, i uh, maybe kate i can send you the link on somewhere else and then you Please. post by anthony satin who is an amazing writer uh, and journalist and he wrote this book about the pharaoh's shadow that's the title Send it. Uh, I will. I will. I will yeet it I'll in the chat. Link, and it's one of the most beautiful books I've read about Egypt and the continuity of ancient things into contemporary Egypt, and uh, also ethnography and stuff like that. And I really, really wholeheartedly recommend it. It's a great reading. Uh, there is a whole it, chapter in the, in the private chat. Yeah. Ah, I, I, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I really, really recommend it. It's uh, and there is a chapter on the tomb of Alexander. He goes in the mosque of Nabi Daniel. And uh, Ooh, let's see. Let's the go. other thing, the other thing is that the body of Alexander is actually the body of Saint Mark. Of course, <laughs> in, of course. That, who in else? The Venice, in the Venice uh, Basilica of Saint Mark, uh, and that the the nations came to steal San Mark. As a matter of fact, they stole the body of Alexander and had been mixed up in the I mean, listen, sometimes, sometimes you gotta you gotta steal a body, right? Doesn't matter whose body. I have to get back to Venice with something. So just give me <laughs> a mummified body. Uh, so the yeah, size well, is victory in the meanwhile we won. Yeah, no, no, no. It was it, it, for some reason the AI like the they had all their skirmishers outside of Alexandria. The, I don't know if you were watching, but some very bold choices were made by both the AI and me. But I'm okay. hoping that we can do this real quick. Mm -hmm. Occupy that. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Military tradition, so we gained some traditions. And then... Cleopatra, yeah. That's... Oh, wow. Are we going to oh, meet her? on yeah. the battlefield yeah let's go oh, she's in a chariot let's... and we managed to for some reason we managed to ambush her even though we're in... we're very much in the open the terrain okay. that is not conducive to <laughs> we'll take it and maybe she was looking to the you know she was looking to the other side she was looking the wrong way and uh, then we're like oh surprise yeah, like, ma'am don't forget after you capture Alexandria, now you have to kill Ptolemy 15 Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, true. you gotta kill Caesarea. I don't think, I don't think they have an option, although here is Cleo. You need to Patra. dispose. Okay. Oh what wow. is she wearing? Oh it's a uh, Amazon sexy armor. Yeah, it's a sexy Amazonian armor. I'm trying to zoom in more, but it does that thing where you if you zoom yeah, in you, go, you zoom through her. Yeah. The, oh the, my God. the horse. Try to go on the side. Let's see from here. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. Where that's a very be? Amazonian, non-Egyptian. And feathers, blue feathers. Yeah, blue Earth. feathers. The feathers yeah. would have been on the horses. And the skirt, short skirt. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got you got to run in battle, right? You need a short skirt. I'm all in favor of you know, short skirts everywhere. Um, but yeah. With, Here's um, our one favorite. Probably. I mean, if she <laughs> wanted to be in battle. 
she might have what what kind of crown would she have worn at this point in time if she wanted to go to battle were they still wearing the blue crown would no, she have worn would have she gone into battle herself? i think uh, i think because majority of the army was greek greek people right they would have worn something greek to, you know for the morale right. and uh, wouldn't dress up like a pharaoh anymore that's fair that's fair i don't I mean, think anyone has worn any blue crown from the right. time of enable the second probably probably maybe, maybe it was good it was bad luck they probably even lost the the, the ability to do it the technology or something Fair, fair. Oh, maybe she would she would have worn her hair with like the, the diadem like like Alexander or like the blues. <laughs> police. Well check the chart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cleopatra, it's the fashion police. Stop. Yeah, that's 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 what the sirens were. It's the fashion There's police. There's also something about the apostle St. James. Oh my god, what uh, the bones of the apostle St. James turned out to be a donkey's. <laughs> okay, so on that on that note, uh my hometown allegedly um went to uh turkey to get the bones of uh saint nicholas right saint nicola um wow. but the people from bari arrived there first and so they got saint nicola and brought him back to bari and now he is their protector so the people of i think it was tarsus told the genovese well but wait we have the ashes of saint john the baptist and you can <laughs> take them home for this modest price and we'll also add you know the basin the emerald basin in which jesus washed everyone's feet during the last supper so they came back with ashes which are now housed in a golden replica of the genova cathedral and this <laughs> this giant basin made of green glass which is not emerald in which of course jesus washed everyone's feet um wow. during the last supper it was a, it was a bargain like let me it is accurate yeah, really. yeah absolute bargain so yeah we, we could have like a whole stream of wacky ancient medieval relics being or like like when when what was it was it charles the bald who went to went to the near east and he came back with mary's veil like <laughs> actually mary's veil not everyone not anyone else's not just a random veil the veil that had been on mary's head just because she only had one right it's that's that's how things work um so yeah uh you get good. to make money from pilgrims no so you need to show them something <laughs> otherwise <laughs> they won't come to your church <laughs> no exactly you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta get i mean shilling right an old an, an old tradition <laughs> Ma, i i work the i work not work i volunteered for a time in the parish church of my village which is now now like 1000 people in the province of bergen in the mountains and this village until like 150 years ago was like 250 people so it was really unremarkable and, and and miserable and we have a list of relics from all sorts of saints and people incredible you have no idea no less than 20. <laughs> no, i mean everyone and francis everyone. himself oh wait we got, yeah, yeah i got, got, I got some bad news from the holy cross a piece <gasps> of wood from the holy cross and there are some chicken bones that are reportedly belonging to pius v i mean of course battle of lepanto uh, pope oh yes yes oh yeah the one the one who got a who got a skypey call from mary the very morning of the battle telling him we won <laughs> we just massacred cleopatra did we kill cleopatra oh, it was a it was a shower of pila Oh my uh, God! Oh my God! <laughs> killed by Pila. We killed Pila. Show us the corpse of Cleopatra. Yeah, we want to see the body. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know the Jeez. rules. If you don't see uh, the body, I had her. I had her. The well, discussion was going on. on I think she's there. The, I think she's there. The, that guy's really stoked about it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, go. Um, we, killed, we killed Liz Taylor before old age got her, or old age and alcoholism. Um, Not the last one. Last so, Cleopatra. What's her name? Oh, the uh, horse oh, the the one, the Netflix one. Yes. Oh, oh she's right there. A horse fell on her. Oh, oh, yikes! Oh, I hope she was already. Yeah, dead she's for that. right there. A horse. That's fell not a good way to go. That's not that's that's some Theo than shit. I I don't Theo than shit. I don't. That's, he seems that's pretty happy though. Go. Adela James. Mm. Adela James. Okay, listen. I'm not gonna complain. That's you know. A beautiful woman playing yeah like Cleopatra? Absolutely. yeah yeah, um, yeah. this is probably the last of the problems of that series you know? yeah exactly exactly i mean listen give me give me a a, a good looking cleopatra any day 
Um, and that's that's what the pharaohs would have wanted, right? They always made themselves look more beautiful in in art. So why not? Why wouldn't we do that? Um, I mean, this I don't. Is all beautiful. What is this? this is all Octavian propaganda. Yeah, exactly. We're drinking. Art. We're drinking the Roman Kool Aid. Maybe she <laughs> was beautiful, and I mean, surely yeah. she was. You know, she was. She was Definitely smart. Fascinated and all of that. So. We, and we're you fine know, with that. you know, you know, obviously, well, for the audience, but the, the audience know quite a lot. So it's just good that we, Cleopatra, is one of the few rulers of the ancient world about whom we have the handwriting. Uh, there is this uh, uh, papyrus in Germany, in Berlin, uh, oh. has a um, decree in Greek for, uh, I think, it's uh, trade uh, privileges to a Roman merchant. And then she, it's written by the hand of the people of the chancery. And she writes, Guinness uh, make, make it happen, make it good. So, which, is, which is one of our lines in Assassin's Creed Origins yeah. that she says in you Greek. See, you see my brother, Guinness Yeah, Stone. exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, whoops, it happens, it happens. Yeah. Um, there's also a great book out now called Cleopatra's Daughter. Um, which ah, is yeah. all about I read it it's it's a great Brilliant, book yeah. yeah which is all about the the um, one of the one of the three children that she had with, with Mark Anthony she had that's, a couple of twins speak. we should actually speak about that because we should talk we about that no against it's... Mark Anthony no? exactly they had three children but I only remember uh, they uh, had three they had the the twins and then a baby boy yeah, what is Cleopatra Selene and mm -hmm. uh, Alexandra Helios and the third one was a Ptolemy um, and he, he told and he, me, I think, disappeared quite early. No? Yeah, he was, he was, he went he to was Rome, teeny. Huh? Yeah, they, they, so they, they all got brought... To, so when Cleopatra was defeated uh, and Anthony committed suicide, and she also committed suicide, um, the uh, Octavian disposed of Caesarion because there could only be one young Caesar. And then they took um, the three... Like, they were like the... I think the twins were around eight and the small one might, might have been like four, like mm. a teeny, um, to Rome. Actually... <laughs> to be raised in Octavian's family um, because they could not outright kill them because they were the children of Anthony and, you know, it was not, it was not a nice thing. They were still technically kind of related or anything else. So the boys, at a certain point, disappear. We'd like to believe that maybe they just had unremarkable lives and didn't do shit, probably were killed. Um, the daughter was actually married off to another royal hostage who was Juba II, an actual nerd, uh, who was the king, the the son of the previous king of Mauritania, which is uh, Morocco, modern day Morocco. Um, Algeria and yeah, Morocco. yeah, Algeria, and Morocco, and they just they made this this match and they sent them to rule over Mauritania, um, and it seems to have been like an okay marriage. Uh, <laughs> You know, they, yeah, they had children. There is the, the dynasty goes on. Yeah, exactly. They had children. The dynasty goes and on. And he builds uh, this amazing tomb for themselves. This uh, Solos circle. They did. That they is inspired did. by. It's inspired by the mausoleum of Augustus. In mm -hmm. Rome. Mm -hmm. He saw it. He saw Augustus building it. Yeah, then, exactly. It was like, aha, we want to do that. They did like. Yeah. A, they did. They did really good things in Mauritania. Um, mm -hmm. and it is. And, was like, and he was also um, very interested in geography. So he actually sent an expedition to the Canary Islands um, to check if, you know, if what, what people were, were telling about them, because there was the thing of like the, the islands of the blessed and everything else, was true. Uh, because the Carthaginians were actually going there um, to, you know, to do their own things and blah, blah, blah. Um, his description, uh, we don't have his description of the islands, but we have Pliny's description of um and and probably and probably one of his sources was juba the second's report so that's that's interesting um and yeah so he was he was a giant nerd uh also not a bad looking guy if the portrait <laughs> if the portrait is to be believed like you know and they were like not too far apart in age which is so like all things considered she probably got the best deal out of what could have happened to her as a prisoner so Cleopatra wins as a yeah, so Cleopatra wins. Yeah, actually, there is the the, the strong chance that uh, Julia Domna was a descendant of Cleopatra Selene. Ah. <laughs> there is a strong chance that she was. So, you know, it's possible. It's possible. So that, that this thing continued like well into the third century. So Julia Domna is... Uh, uh, Julia Domna is uh, the Severan dynasty, no? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where yeah. do they come from? Aren't they uh, Syrians? Sy- They're Syrians. Yeah. 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 So they come from Syria. If we had to a Netflix series, <laughs> is she? <laughs> 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 Cleopatra Selene is half a uh, half Egyptian, Egyptian, half yeah. Uh, Roman. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm, mm. oh this is just it's it's that's, that's reality, you know. Yeah, no, it is. It's more complicated than uh, black and white. Yeah, black absolutely, and... absolutely. Um, what are we? Who are we killing now? <laughs> just going around. There is a comment. This campaign of Eduardo is worth raising popular history in Eastern Mediterranean. Do you remember <laughs> the time the army passed by here? <laughs> I don't know. Eh? Ooh, where where uh, are they going? Zoom. They're zooming where are you away. Actually? There you go. Are That's we, the army. This is, this is, if you could not tell, this is the amazing city of Pergamon. Ah, yeah. Where's where the Acropolis? <laughs> yeah, where's the Acropolis? Oh, that's <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? Pergamon. To be would... determined. Looks like Priene, actually. Not yeah, I, I was thinking that, that it looks like Priene. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, so... Pergamon has an acropolis that is so steep that if you're yes. in the theater and and you stumble, they're gonna find you at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> they <laughs> so collect they, with a spoon afterwards. Exactly, <laughs> they're gonna pick you up with a spoon. It's it's really really steep. Um, and Pergamon is also where we have you know the giant uh, altar that is now in Berlin, uh, which the the Titan the Gigantomachy and then the the um, the frieze of Telephus inside. Um, and it was made by my beloved uh, Eumenes II after one of his victories against the Galatians. So the Gauls, again, we hate the Gauls. Great art. Um, great art, fantastic, incredible relief. Um, there was actually a great exhibition in Berlin um, a few years ago in which you could enter basically like a, a cylinder and you would have a 363 degree view of ancient Pergamon at the time of like Hadrian for whatever reason all around you, like if, like as if you were there. It was fantastic. It was a great thing. Um, Let me see if I can find images of Pergamon because this this ain't it. This is Priene, if we have to. Uh, (laughs) Let me see. What what led you to attack Pergamon? Uh, I just wanted to see Anthony. (laughs) That's fair. He's he's in the city. He he should be. I think my line of sight isn't giving me. I think they always station the commander in the middle here. But because there's fog of war in this one you can't really see him oh wait, no that's just the center flag i'll see him in a second once i take the walls let's see if i can find a good image of the citadel the citadel was um okay there's it's an image of a model of the citadel so not the best but it will it will give you an idea of like how steep everything is it's like on top like the acropolis is on top of a hill and then there's like a few kilometers and then the the city for like the poor um yeah yeah i've i've also seen it in berlin uh there are there are pictures of me flailing and explaining things to people that were clear they were not my friends but people were still listening so that's good uh but yeah we love pergamon also pergamon born of someone running away with the booty which we love um we we stand let's see uh, oh it's a uh, plenty of enemies in there huh? Yeah, oh, because Anthony's there, so we gotta, you know, yeah, we killed wait, one, now we gotta kill the other one. I think, I, I think we should be able to see. I think this is the general, no, this is Tarantine cavalry, famous for being jerks and skirmishers, <laughs> even in antiquity. Well, yes, yes, yes. Tarentum, <laughs> Tarentum in southern Italy had a long tradition of being a city of assholes, um, <laughs> and, and very angry when the Romans sent ambassadors there. They not only made fun of the ambassadors for their terrible Greek accent, uh, but they also peed on their ships um, oh. and throw shit at them. Yeah, they were not. They were not taking that. They were like, "Yeah, we don't. We really don't like you. We really, really hate you. Like, fuck off." Um, they were also the ones who called who called Pyrrhus. Um, So you know, they were not nice people, but it was in their right to not be nice people to the Romans. Um, yeah, they, I, I think they're good, forgiven, given how history turned out. They had because been there for stand. far longer, right? Yeah. Tarentum was also a Spartan colony, um, which is a rarity in 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 the Mediterranean because Sparta usually would not send. But for that one, they sent someone, and there is a tradition that says that they sent the bastards, like a whole generation of bastards that were born of Spartan women and um, and like non-citizens because they had needed this generation to, you know, to refill the ranks of the army. But then when actual 
Spartan children and boys are like, we we gotta we gotta do something with the Spartanio. So we gotta let, let, let's send them, you know, to found to found a, an apoikia away um from home. And the Oracle told them, Yeah, 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 go go there and, and bother the Yapigian, which were the, the local the local indigenous people. Uh so they did. Um but yeah, you know, I mean as as one does. Um Tarento is a great site. There is no way of digging under the city because it's all built up. So there's literally no way to dig in there. But it, it has some of the most beautiful, beautiful Hellenistic jewelry that you'll ever find. And a great traditional terracotta figurines, which is how I know all this shit about Tarentum. Because I wrote my, um, uh, my Egyptian archaeology thesis on um, uh, Greek figurines, Greek terracotta figurines in Tarentum and in Naucratis. So it was, it was, it was a project. That, that ah, Naucratis. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, Naucratis is my first They had things in common? Uh, yeah. Yes, well, actually. Now, practice has a lot of is Tarentum was in the cities that uh, the that were involved in the foundation of Naucratis? Or? No, it wasn't. No, 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 it wasn't. But like they, there were there were like similarities in like how the um how the things were were made. They're like well because they were Greek figurines, right? Um, so <laughs> they they had like and they had like some well they had mostly like the the big um the big yeah. common common thing of being like harbors. Like of being oh, big, well. big harbors, big emporia of like people coming and going, um, and having a long tradition of like making terracotta figurines for for reasons that are like, you know, I'm making very fancy ones. Um, <laughs> if you if you look at the ones for the you're like, oh, they really they really had a taste for these things. Um, <laughs> some are uh, definitely not PG thirteen. Um, some are some are better, um, and some are absolutely Hellenistic. Like they have they have a whole series of of drunken satyrs with these giant skins uh full of white and they're absolutely out of it so it's yeah 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 they got they got those and some of them are in cairo actually because there's no museum yeah. in naucratis yeah of course there's nothing i mean there's, there's also no city in naucratis it's under a fucking lake anyway nothing in <laughs> it's under a lake and, and it's, uh, where it's is mark anthony this is the question exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm looking like, for him uh, the chicken <laughs> exactly come out come out show your countenance you think he'd be probably dressed up like an oriental queen or something like that. right <laughs> right <laughs> mark anthony was uh was very sure of himself so much so that he he and cleopatra he uh, put up like colossal statues um on the acropolis of athens um and then there was a terrible omen because during a storm they came down so they fell down and so people were like clearly you know this is an omen but it's, it's all bullshit um <laughs> yeah, i mean yeah yeah i mean also i mean the acropolis is deep st stuff stuff falls down um uh, pretty much all the time right but but you gotta you gotta have omens when something something horrible is about to happen um oh i got shameful display oh where is where, Where is, is he? the general? Jeez, yeah. he should be in the front line. <laughs> Perhaps not, we could not. we could pull like a like a um how do you call it uh, a Brad Pitt and go like Anthony. <laughs> Anthony! <laughs> to be fair, I think Anthony would beat the ever living shit out of uh, Augustus in a one to one. Oh, oh, he would deck Augustus. I, I would. Oh him. my god, I would pay money. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Anthony was like the the ideal, you know, weir of the of the late republic. He was he was big and big and strong and like Herculean and masculine oh. and Oh there he is. Okay. Making babies let me, everywhere. Let me, let me pause it oh, before he uh, in Italian we have the expression to be a Marc Antonio, it means uh, to be a very beautiful, handsome, strong yeah. man. <laughs> big big thick man, exactly. Is. Which is there not is. the case here. Marc yeah. Antonio. And the thickness. They, he's pretty. Yeah. They didn't thick. give him. Yeah, they didn't give him a lot though. Yeah. Well, that is sad. He's not, he's not doing anything. He's just there waiting. No, he's, he's just, just about sitting. to die. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds sounds you know sounds like Mark Anthony to me. Um, <laughs> yeah. True. Um, I mean, he went. You know, he went the way he would have wanted to go in battle. Being a less. coward in the middle of the city. Being a coward in the middle of the city. Well, no, he went in this. He went. He went. <laughs> you know, the way he would have wanted to go in real life. He was a lamb, he... Was a lamb being slaughtered. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. God bless cheats. We we oh. basically we basically resolve the entire uh, Roman civil war. 
57 BC. Huh? Yeah. So six years. No, we're, we're early. We're early. Six years before. Yeah, we're yeah. early. So probably the twins have not had not been born yet. I guess. Oh, <laughs> let's see. I've got. Let's see. Little let's see. Alexandria note. Uh, everything no, is she was she was born in forty, so no, she would have been, would have been, but the other one would not have been would have been born. So I don't understand why that's they the, give them. Yeah, there are elephants in the delta, which is <laughs> very weird. <laughs> the elephant in the room. Yeah, but is the uh, the pyramids and the lighthouse giving you any perk like in the old game? Uh, well, I can capture them right now with my amazing ability my amazing octavian <laughs> powers Let's see here i don't think so because oh no road has the colossus but does the mm -hmm. does it give you bonuses is a good question i've never actually come on actually the, the library or the a lighthouse should be giving me a bonus because it did in the first game didn't it Yes, it did. Yes. I don't. Yes, it did. I don't think so, though. That is sad. Do we have? Do, how many pyramids do we have here? That is. So that's the, the question. If you look at, if you look to the. Uh, oh, we got three. Okay. No, wait a moment. If you click on the province and look on the left, uh, I, where yeah, it gives you the. Oh, the, there it is. Oh, yeah, there you right. go. There you go. The Pharos of Alexandria. Huh? Yeah. Minus mm -hmm. Plus one on the side. Not bad. Not bad. Getting Memphis, yeah. yeah. I mean, you gotta, you gotta get the the white walls it's of Memphis. Finish all of this. Everything else. Any remnant of the Ptolemy scum? Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, that's really so, good, actually. Five per, minus five percent construction cost, faction wide, and plus five wealth from culture. I don't, I don't hate that. Yeah. So, Daniela, do you think, do you think that the the Frank Godio expedition will find the the tombs of the Ptolemies if they keep going underwater and doing the things why not hmm? I mean oh. the discoveries of the uh, in uh, what they found about the lighthouse for example is quite different. quite impressive in terms yeah. of uh, architecture and statues and steel art really amazing yeah, so yeah, yeah. And we had no idea any of that existed before Oh, oh man! So if only, well, if only. I, mean, I really a, hope. It's a very beautiful city. It deserves to have. Mm -hmm. It has been, it has been, it has been suffering a while in the last uh, 10, 15 years. Uh, the, you know, the city is a very interesting story. Alexandria had been since the the foundation and down well into the Islamic period, the the city in that part of the world. Mm -hmm. It continued this amazing tradition of culture from Hellenistic to Roman to Christian Byzantine period. And then in Egypt, something happens is that the, uh, the branch of the Nile that used to go to Canopus, which is mm -hmm. now uh, 14 kilometers east of Alexandria, is, is, a, is a part of Alexandria already, mm -hmm. uh, silted up. So there was no water. And there was no communication between Alexandria and the rest of Egypt unless you take a donkey <laughs> or, or a camel, and that's not easy. Or you take another ship or another boat, you go to the closest branch of the Nile, which is the Rashid one or the Rosetta one. And so from the ninth century onwards, it's Rashid, the most important port city in Egypt, because it connects uh, Cairo, well, later Cairo and, and, uh, and the sea. And so Alexandria shrinks to a town, a few thousand inhabitants. So the, the old uh, city we saw before in the battle is just abandoned and they pillage it for, uh, for spolia, for columns, for marble, for all sorts of things, porphyry. And the city only shrinks in the area of the bridge we saw, the Epta Stadion. That's in the Ottoman period. And it only revives in the 19th century when uh, the Pasha of Egypt builds a canal connecting the Nile with the city again and then it becomes ap apparent that the city is the best harbor naturally in Egypt so it takes back the rolling ahead before uh, the silting up of the Nile and the city is reconstructed so all the uh, grid of 90 degrees streets in the center are it's still followed, but they build all very nice late 19th century, early 20th century buildings, and which is the Alexandria, the modern contemporary Alexandria, until 
as I was saying in the beginning of this <laughs> very long parenthesis, is that they started demolishing those buildings. Oh. And now, now the city is a very sad state. All these high skyscrapers, very ugly buildings. Anyway. <clears throat> so it's it's just the the ghost of the city it was. It, it has this very interesting cycle of going up and down, up and down. Now it's the down part. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer very beautiful. So it that deserves is... me to have a discovery coming up. Where are you now? Sorry, you just keep Oh, talking. no, I know. I just picked this one. I forget what city this is. Uh, <laughs> Any city. I know, yeah. I just wanted to show off the elephant because I don't think uh, we've <laughs> seen them on the battle map. I'm using my... I like how this guy has a shield. Very. But yeah, I just want to show off the elephants. I will do this quick. Because right now, Octavian is just steamrolling. Finding her tomb, what can tell us that we don't already know? <laughs> uh, well, it depends what we find in the tomb. <laughs> Yeah, you never know what was buried with her, and if the body is still there somehow, I mean, probably completely. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. for unfortunately, unfortunately if it's, if it's underwater, if, even if there is any, so you know, you never know. I mean, yeah. It would be interesting. Any anything would help. Anything would help, but it really yeah. depends on. Uh, I mean, the the tombs of the of the kings in. Uh, in Macedonia are amazing. Yeah. The discovery of all these tombs and the, the jewelry and the, so on. Yeah. Anything closer to that, uh, from the point of view of architecture, so we don't have any, we don't know how the tombs of the Ptolemies are. There is one tomb in Alexandria that is very interestingly now surrounded by the Christian Catholic cemetery of Alexandria, but it mm. is an ancient one. It's called the Alabaster tomb. Because we only have the chamber, the burial chamber, which is a rectangle made of Egyptian alabaster. And we imagine, because of the size of it and parts of the sculpture, and that it used to be a tholos circular kind of Macedonian tomb. So that might have been a, a royal tomb, something Ooh. like that. Yeah. But no inscriptions. Very, very high status uh, a person buried there. Some people at the beginning even identified it as the tomb of Alexander, because it is really exceptional. But it's, it's just very, very small uh, what is left of it. So if there's anything close to that, well, it would give us any information about how these tombs look like, and what materials and what kind of decoration and whatever was buried with her is survived any time. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Gives us also more information about the topography of the city. How yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if if we find like if she was buried with the other Ptolemies, then we would have like a lot more tombs than just hers. Yeah. Um, and also like the like the you were talking about like the the Macedonian the Macedonian royal tombs, but like an Egyptian royal tomb would have a lot of writing, would have shit on the walls, would have stuff, would have things. So the, the we 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 would be able to find a lot more info. Um, and also, I mean, maybe she was buried with someone, um, you know, so we, we don't know. I mean, we're like the other, the, other, the, the said, the said thing for like other, other tombs, like Tutankhamun's tombs, we know from his tomb that, um, he was buried with his two stillborn uh, daughters. So, and, and those are not recorded like in, in history or like in, in writing anywhere else, but we found the, the tiny bodies. So that's also something that could happen, right? Also, um, also, if the tomb was pillaged, like for example, the pyramid of Lahun still mm -hmm. being back in ancient Egypt. So Hellenistic wise in Egypt, we don't have anything. There's no royalty, except this alabaster tomb. But the, the pyramid of uh, Senusera the first in the uh, second in Lahun, pillaged and excavated and there's nothing to find and then the archaeologists found the cobra the golden cobra yeah. that was pinned on the forehead of the king so yeah yeah so there's, there's always there's always something right yeah i mean in, in one in object Nefertari, is the object one well i mean in the fertari tomb mm -hmm. they found like a few amulets uh like a ring and uh oh yeah part of her legs uh so it's like not a lot but enough right enough enough to make to make about this and so, like and talk about you know what what else what else could have been there, um, but yeah it's uh but so not not a, not a super question like and we we all you know no, not at all. yeah it's it's always exciting like when when people can we 
uh, can can find new tombs. Um, with that, I think that we are oh same minds. Uh, I think we are at the two hour mark. Uh, so I think and we've conquered you know <laughs> to everybody. A lot. Yeah, we were, we were like we were here talking and making conversation. Eduardo was like pummeling people. Um, you know, killing them. So that no, works. I, we showed off the the custom models for everybody by killing them. Oh yeah, by killing them. That's that's yeah, you yeah. know that is that is the uh, that's the spirit of the Total War series. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So um, so thank you, chat, uh, for being active and for showing up and for asking the the, the all the questions and for making jokes. Um, thank fun. you, Eduardo, for for controlling you know the troops and killing Agrippa. And then very killing very badly, else. but by the time the cheats kicked oh. in, I was on like auto. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no. Judge. Honestly, like next week we're also using using cheats. See, uh, thank were, you, Daniele, for people. joining us from from the land of the Ptolemies. Always um, a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, next week we will finish uh, the the first part of the summer season. This this year we're gonna go on a little more for the summer uh, than usual. Not me. I'll be on the field. I'll be digging, uh, but other people will be we're going on. Um, and we will finish this series with Attila Total War. So we will be going into like the you know the late antique period. We will discuss why we probably should not call it late antique. Um, we will we will talk about the Sassanid and we will talk about why do we need to administer these provinces that are so far east and everything else. Um, and we will do that with, uh, with Daniele, with Alex, who will be back, and with Christian Rollinger. So who has written like, yeah, yeah, a big ass book on on uh, history of video games. Um, yeah, so we will be here same time, same place, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and now everyone go and enjoy the weekend. Um, if you can avoid killing Agrippa, you know, getting Agrippa killed, it would be nice. Um, check out the reading recommendations that we sent in the chat and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.